Hey everyone, welcome to Curious Bites. In this video, obviously we are not planning to tell you what GATE means as graduate aptitude test in engineering. This video is for people who want to know about the GATE exam and what are the possible options after giving GATE exam. People who are confused in taking the decision that whether they should appear for GATE exam or not, whether it is worth it or not. There are many possibilities that might come to your mind. You might want to pursue MS abroad. You might want to continue your current job, prepare for placements and off-campus opportunities and many more. In this video, let's discuss if GATE exam is worth it or not for you. So what is GATE exam? GATE is Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. It is conducted by one of the old IITs or IISC each year around Feb. Results are out by March, followed by applying into various institutions. GATE exam score is valid for three years and the syllabus consists of technical part, which is aligned with your college syllabus. Like for CS, it is algorithms, DSA, OS. Then there's engineering mathematics and final part is aptitude and English. Now, what after GATE exam? Through GATE, you can join MTech and MS programs at top engineering institutes. You also get a monthly stipend if you do so. If you get a very good rank, you can also get direct job opportunities in PSUs, which, which are government undertaken companies. I do not have much experience about it, but I'll be soon having a guest speaker who is very experienced about this. So stay tuned. Now the final question, should you give GATE? Is GATE worth for you? We'll be covering several cases, so watch till the end. The first case is if you are in fourth or sixth semester. Our advice is you should definitely prepare for GATE exam. There is no loss in giving the GATE exam. If not anything, it will help you in your college curriculum and in technical rounds of companies. And you can also add your GATE rank in the achievement sections in your resume. So second and third year people, you can use your GATE score for joining postgraduate programs or PSUs for up to three years. And GATE syllabus is aligned with your college studies. Why are you not preparing for GATE? Just get started right now. The next case is if you are a final year student that is in your eighth semester currently and you will be graduating soon in a few months. Our advice for you would be start preparing for GATE exam but also take a job. This is important for two reasons. One, you'll have some work experience. Two, you'll have less pressure on your mind. And it is important to keep your mind light while preparing and more importantly, while appearing for the exam. The next case is if you are doing a job with one to two years of work experience and you are not satisfied with it. GATE is the best option for you. A lot of my batchmates here at IITB also appeared for GATE exam after working for one to two years. As here, we get a lot of opportunities for applying to big tech companies. The final case is, if you are from any other department and you want to change stream, again, GATE is the best option for you. All in all, GATE exam is worth it. You can get better job opportunities, offers from PSUs, research opportunities, and an IIT and TAG. So that is it for today, guys. I've tried to cover all the common cases which I've been asked about a lot of times. But if there's some case I've missed and you have queries about it, please put it down in the comment box below. I'll make sure to answer all your queries. And if there's some common track which I've missed, I'll try to make a separate video on it. We'll be posting a new video every Wednesday and Saturday. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tips and tricks on cracking the great exam. Until next time, stay curious and keep progressing.